All right, so back to this. Yet another day, uh, another video of shit talking, uh, shitting on the fandom and fan base, right? I mean, basically, that's what this, uh, my channel's become at this point, or at least this most recent line of videos. Funny enough, at this point, I haven't actually uploaded the second part of the previous video I made. I'll make sure to do that. I just, it completely left my mind, but. Yeah, I mean, this video, to be fair though, this video should be relatively short, and then the second part of the last video was relatively short as well. It was only like 10 minutes long, so I should get both of them up by tonight. So if you're seeing this, the second part of the previous video is probably up already, but anyway, besides that, right? Moving on to this video at hand, I finally, because again, right, I'm kind of scraping by for stuff to talk about, because... I do this a lot, but I generally don't like to talk about the same thing twice in like multiple videos. And sometimes I reference older videos or other things relating to that, right? But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess besides that, we'll see. We'll see, right? But uh, this one, I have relatively new topics. And again, right, the title of the video should make it apparent, make it obvious what I'm talking about, right? But <laughs> yeah, fans are delusional. That's literally just what I'm going to title it title you know because at this point it went from not even defending security breach because again my very first three video well my first three videos were just on the thoughts and experiences and then that fourth video was on the actually the failure of security breach so but again that failure was partially to include big youtubers and the fandom and fan base itself right so I wouldn't say it didn't start off defending security breach more so talking about it and I guess defending it from dog shit criticism. I mean, in my most, so one of my, just a couple or a few videos ago, I made a bad security breach takes video. Um, and then also, but it, it turned more so, not even defending security breach, I'd say, but more so just like talking about it as if, you know, it's not the fucking crux of the world, right? Like it's not fucking, uh, you know, the, like, it's not the fucking worst thing out there. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, not talking about as if it's fucking, like, you know, the, I guess, most evil thing out there, right? As if some people are, or as some people are, shifting towards just talking about how terrible the fandom fan base is, right? How delusional it is. Because, like, and I guess that's this video, right? Again, how delusional, uh, <laughs> just, like, it's literally gonna be, like, FNAF fans are delusional. That's, like gonna be my title but again like i just don't know how else to put it right and again i've got a few new things i want to talk about so yeah a few new things i want to talk about relating to that so again let's just get right into it and not waste any time i need to do something in about 15 minutes anyway so that gives me a perfect amount of time to cover this topic so yeah i guess and there are a few things i want to hit on so I guess the first thing I'll hit on is basically this idea of real versus fake fans. And obviously, you know, you see this in all types of media, all sorts of fandoms and fan bases. And, and especially in FNAF, right? Especially with the release of Security Breach. Because I talked about and mentioned in many of our videos how it, it kind of really did expose the fandom and fan base for its hypocrisy and contradiction, right? That's in our one of my videos. I really did kind of just expose the fan base, like lay bare the fan base and just how dog shit and trash, garbage, terrible it is, right? Like, I don't know how else to put it. It really kind of exposed the fandom um, fan base, right? And it, it was the most controversial release, but it was also like the most polarizing release. Like, up until that point, you know, th I assume there were still people in, I in fact, I don't assume, I know there are, are still people who are bringing up like real versus fake FNAF fans, right? Or like who are bringing up, you know, oh, or specifically the quote, or quote, I'd say like, oh, you're not a real fan, right? Oh, you're not a real FNAF fan. The reason why I don't quote the video that is because again, this is in all forms of media, you know, all forms of, uh, all forms of any like sort of fan base, right? Or fandom. But again, FNAF especially, and especially after Security Breach, because like I said, again, Security Breach, the one good thing it did was expose the fandom for how fucking dog shit it is, like, so really after Security Breach, again, is when you start to see this stuff, like, become rampant, right, become apparent, right, where you have 
all these people claiming like, oh, you're not a real FNAF fan, right? If you like this game, or oh, you're not, a, and it, it goes both ways. You got people saying, oh, you're not a real fan if you enjoy this, or oh, you're not a real fan if you don't enjoy this, right? You're not a real fan if you think X game is good or bad, right? Uh, like it's the same thing, and because again, Security Breach, it's like I, in effect, I'm, it, it's a bit weird, right? Because I'm kind of in a sense, I'm somewhat glad it flopped, because, again, it really did just expose the fandom and fan base for how fucking dog shit it is. Like, I don't know how else to say it. But, again, that's also something to where it's, like, obviously I wish it did well. And, again, I have my... I have, like, multiple videos, like, going over what it could... what it should have... or, like, what it could improve on, right? You know? I have multiple videos related to that. Just scroll down, right? Um, but, again, right... I'm semi-glad it flopped, because it really did fucking expose the fan um, for how dog shit it is, so. Yeah, but besides that, and it, it really did sort of bring this, make this rampant apparent, right? This whole, like, real versus fake fan thing, right? Again, you got, and it, funny enough, it's on both sides, right? You know, you got people saying, and again, I say specifically Security Breach, because, again, of how controversial and, like, polarizing of a release it was, right? You know, obviously, you got people who say, like, oh, they enjoyed it. <laughs> and, like, you got people who act as if it's, like, again, you know, Satan's crush or whatever. Like, crux. Like, the bane of, like, existence some type of shit. So, again, right? But you, you've you got people saying, oh, you're not a real fan if you enjoyed it. Oh, you're not a real fan if you don't enjoy it, right? Obviously, you're not a real fan if you think this game is good versus bad, right? Like, again, I got called not being not a real fan for not thinking it's my least favorite, right? You know, again, that still goes to sister location. I'm still sticking by my guns on that one. I, again, Scary Breach is still my second or third least favorite, right? But I'm sticking by my guns on that one. I'm not uh, changing my opinion for that, which is funny enough talking about opinion, bringing up opinion, right? I feel like I, I don't really need to elaborate more on what I just said because I feel like, again, it's something that's super apparent. So, hmm. you know, it's something to where it's like... Uh, like, you'll literally just see people saying, like, you're not a real person, obviously, because before Security Breach, it was, that was still around, right? But it was more so saying, like, oh, you're not a real fan. Well, I guess no one really talks about the lore, because no one fucking understands it. I don't know what it is. Uh, but you got, you, you know, old, you would have people saying, like, oh, you're not a real fan if you think, um... Or you're not a real fan if you don't like these, like, people who play it or, like, some shit like that. That, like, the old, th that was just, like, the old delusional, like, <laughs> we're gonna find out, we're gonna talk about, like, kids for this next part, right? But that was, like, the old delusional, like, fucking, that was, like, back in the old days of YouTube where you had, like, the fucking, uh, Mark Pyre, PewDiePie, like, Jack Septa guy, like, kind of that trio just dominating, like, that, like, sort of that uh what would you call it i'd say that like fandom or fan base right it was mostly coming from there um and it was mainly referring to like if you don't like these youtubers who play it right you're not a fan it's like that's not the fucking case right you know some people actually play the games themselves right you know but yeah but besides that again now but with after with the release of security breach and after you got people like pointing the finger at each other right saying oh you're not a real fan if you like this game or if you don't like this game right and it's really just like the whole, like, real versus fake fan thing, like, I, again, right, most forms of media have it, most fandoms, fan bases have it, right, but especially with FNAF and especially after the recent security breach, right, this whole real versus fake, whether or not you enjoy it, like, like acting as if, you know, oh, it's a good game, right, or like, you're, oh, you enjoy it versus acting as if it's fucking, you know, the bane of existence, right, like, I, I really don't know how else to put it, other than just some people, like, this whole real versus fake thing is just, like, so, so retarded, like, I don't know how else to put it, like, like, it's just, it really does just show how dog shit the fandom is, right, like, especially because, like, most forms of media, it's not a real versus fake thing if you like X game versus Y game, it's it's almost always the case like for other forms of media or other games the fandoms fan base it's almost like oh you're not a real fan if it, it'd be like the old times for FNAF where it'd be like oh if you don't um or if you don't I guess ship or stand whatever right but even then I'd say most of that is done jokingly obviously you got a segment a very niche portion or segment of those who take it seriously and again that's from the old uh, tri tri trio trifecta of uh Mark Pyre, PewDiePie, and the Jacksepticeye, but 
now again, you know, but most of that's done, you know, like fucking jokingly, or it at least gets to a point to where it becomes a joke, right? To where like people say it jokingly, oh, you're not real if you don't stand this, you know, shit that, right? And most of it's done jokingly and like, but no, now with Manaf and post security breach, you got people who are legit, who are legitimately being serious, you know, right? Entirely serious, 100% serious, saying, oh, you're not a fan if you like or if you don't like uh, this game. I mean, look at the whole, like, uh, FNAF Plus thing with the Phil Som thing, right? Again, you've got a whole segment. He's basically saying, like, you know, you're not a fan if you like this game. Or it's like, I not don't want to be a fan of people if there are fans who like this game. And you got his whole community who agrees with him. But then you got another side that's like, oh, he's not a true fan because he doesn't. Like, it's like this whole true versus fake thing, right? Regardless of whether you like Secure Breach or not. Because that's, like, my whole point. Like, now it's shifted from... Because I wouldn't even say I was really defending Secure Breach. Because, like, again, I've got videos, like, at least four or five at this point, right? Criticizing it. But it's more so I shifted towards just shitting on the fandom and fan base because of how dog shit and garbage it is. But, again, right, I guess I feel like I've talked enough about that. Uh, just again, you know, this whole real versus fake fan thing. And especially because now people are being serious about it with whether or not you like Secure Breach. It's just like dog shit and really just shows and exposes how terrible, like garbage trash the fandom is. But again, because now it's serious rather than playful, right? Or like jokingly, like, oh, you're not a real fan if you don't stand her shit this, right? But now it's like, oh, you, like people are being, it's like, it's like, the meme where it's like, oh, wait, you're serious. It's like people are actually being serious about this. But anyway, I feel like I've talked enough about that. We're moving on, you know, in the main point of what I want to talk about during this video, right? The main thing that I want to talk about ultimately was this, right? And that is uh, basically, again, this idea of your opinions or your feelings getting legitimized, right? Or have being legitimate because basically because of you know the games impacting you in such a way or hurting you right and this isn't something i ever thought would be because this just it never really crossed my mind until i saw it right it's like i just didn't i didn't think people could think this way right or would think that way but it's like some people legit like again think their opinions feelings about like these games right again not even like an actual game series like fucking FNAF, right which at this point has been memed to shit. Like, people are, like, acting as if, you know, like, they're legitimately, like, hurt. <laughs> and that that's what legitimizes their feelings and opinions. And I guess against not only Security Breach, but Steel Wool as well, right? It's like a company, like, mate, wishing that they'd fucking, like, go, like, I don't know, like, disband or some shit. I don't know if they'd go bankrupt. Like, I don't, I don't know enough about uh, that. That's not my field of expertise. So, but, like... I guess, like, we were wishing, like, that they'd fucking, like, again, like, a disband or something, and it's like, this is a fuck, it's a game, it's a fucking game, like, I, I really don't know how else to say it, like, I really don't know how else to put it, other than it's a game, like, like, really, like, 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 I, I just, I don't know how else to put it, like, I, I really don't, like, it's, because to me, this is just, like, like, I look at the fandom and fan base, and it just gets worse every single fucking day. Because, like, I, I see shit like that, and it's like, it's a fucking game. Like, I, I really don't know what else to say. It's like, it's a video game. Like, you, you, like you, you play them for fun, for entertainment. Like, if you take the, if, if you're, you take the game that seriously, right? It's like... Because, like, here's the thing. I consider myself a fan. I've played, again, like I mentioned, i played every single game besides UCN and VR. And, funny enough, UCN's the one free one. I just never gone to because I wasn't going to bother trying to fucking do the 50-20 thing. But, granted, I didn't bother with that for any of the previous ones. But, still, that was, that was, that was still, right? But, again, it, it's something where it's like, so I consider myself a fan. And I've even played some of the fan games, too, right? Uh, not not all of them, but some of them, right? Like, shoot, I, don't, I, I, I should probably get a list down somewhere so I can talk about it. Because I obviously know which actual games I play, but I don't know which all of the fan games I play. It, th that was a bit ago, though. It, it was like some of the older fan games. But again, right? Uh, the point being that it's like, so I consider myself a fan, but I don't take these games seriously, right? Because they're fucking video games, right? You know, in a game series that has been memed to fucking shit, right? 
but it's like some people are acting as if they're like legitimately fucking hurt and like that that justifies their opinions and feelings and it's like it's a fucking video game like i i really don't know what else to say like it's just like it's a video game like it I, I, it's one thing to rage in, like, let's say, an FPS game. And I use the FPS analogy for why FNAF can't just release the same damn game over and over again year after year. Because it's not fucking FPS. But it's like, there's a difference between, let's say, raging in, like, an FPS game if you get fucking, like, shat on. Right? I'd say there's a difference between raging in an FPS game and then legitimately being hurt by a fucking video game like by a story like video game story and it's like it, it's a game like I, I really just don't know what else to say because it's like it boggles my mind so much it really does and it's like it, it's a game it's a it's a video game like I, I i really just don't know what else to say and then again right people acting as if them being quote-unquote hurt by a fucking game right giving them like legitimizing or like legitimizing their opinions and feelings about like let's say the game or even the fucking devs themselves like steel wolf fucking uh some people wish that they'd like disband as a company it's like i don't think go bank like nah that's like corporations but like just disband as a company it's like this it's a fucking video because besides all the shit i talked about earlier right especially with scott you know being the main driving force behind security breach yet no one acts like he is right but funny enough right you know i mentioned i talked about and i've touched on everything else in my previous videos right mm. but again right at the end of the day you know it's like i just i just don't again right it's gotten to a point where like i don't even bother trying to rationalize it or like make sense of it right or even much less reason with them you know much less reason with what happens, right? Because it really is just, like, they're so good at deluding themselves, it, it's, like, insane. They're the, like, they delude themselves more than, like, actual fucking people who are being subject to propaganda. But then that brings up the whole, yo, you're not immune to propaganda. Fine enough, everyone who says that is almost always, like, under the impression that, oh, everyone who says that is almost always under propaganda themselves, like, or at least they're under, because the, they're always under the impression that, oh, you, that couldn't be me, right, again, that's a whole different discussion, and I'm trying to keep this restricted to security to be tried, but it's like, I, I really just, I really don't know what I'll say, I really don't know what I'll say, other than that, it's a fucking game, right, and it's like, I don't know, I don't know, and then, what else, right, oh yeah, and then, just, I also wanted to talk about how, uh, basically, again, people saying that, or fans saying that, oh, that, trying to argue that, and again, it's one thing to say that Security Breach isn't a kid's game, but if you're going to say that, because then it's like, okay, you know, then you, the argument turns to whether FNAF is a series, is a kid series versus not, but if you're going to try and argue that Security Breach is a kid's game, but that the rest of the series is somehow, oh, this, like, fucking mature audience like game series it's like uh, first like lots of people argue that but a lot of those people are also teenagers and i mentioned this in my previous video like, again i'm 21 right i'm a young adult <laughs> well yes fucking i still feel like a fucking kid but again that's something where like i was 14 when the first game came out when i first played so i was just at that age range right but you've got some teens like let's say 15 16 17 even like 18 19 right well, not even those, but, like, you got, like, 15, 16, 17 who are people years old, right, who are trying to, like, make this argument, and funny enough, they may come from the same camp of people who feel hurt by the game. It's like, they try to make that argument that, oh, it's a kid's game, but it wasn't always a kid's series. Somehow, the rest of the series was a mature adult series, right? But how old were those people when the first game came out? Fucking 8 or 9 or 10 or 11, like, playing the game? And it's like, you're a fucking kid playing, like, in, like, these people don't understand, like, why it's, because for me, again, I always saw FNAF in this way, but I was also, what, four, I don't even think I was 14, maybe I was 15, I don't know, but I was, like, at that age when the first game came out, but a lot of these, like, mid-teens, mid to late teens, right, were, like, 8, 9, 10, 11 years old when the first game came out and they're acting as if, like, the, it's this mature thing when they're playing it as, like, a fucking preteen. And it's like, do they not really see the 
hypocrisy again you know they're just so good at deluding themselves like i really don't know what i'll say they're just so good at deluding themselves that it's just astounding to where it's like oh <laughs> it really is just astounding to where it's like they're so good at deluding themselves to where it's like oh you know this you know, I'm this uh, mid to late teen, right? Okay, oh, this is a kid's game, right? But the rest of the series is mature, despite the fact that I first played it when I was, like, fucking a preteen, right? 8, 9, 10, 11. And it's like... And then, like, they wonder why it went down Scary Factor, because they're fucking playing as, like, a preteen, right? 8, 9, 10, 11 years old. And it's like, again, for me, it's like... Because for me, the one game that really was game was, again, 4, and that was the audio thing, right? That's partially why it's my favorite. Again, Sister Location just dropped the fucking ball on that, right? Still my least favorite. And then 6, it doesn't do it as well. Because, again, with that, it it, it, tur- it doesn't keep it as, like, a core mechanic, right? It's more so becomes, uh, or what would you call it? It more so becomes a part of this larger scheme with, like, the fucking, like, vent system or whatnot. Rather than just listening for if they're fucking there. Um, but, yeah, again, right? Because then you can just, you literally can go without using the fucking audio, right? Like, you like with 6, you just need to use the fucking uh, lures and stuff, so. Uh, or lures, that's a fucking different game. That's fucking Teal or Land. Not, I'm thinking of that. But you just need to use the, uh, the audio lure, not the fucking, not the robot. But again, that's the, besides the point. I didn't actually play Teal or Land. That one's one of them I watched, because it's a more recent one. But this is besides the point. Get different, uh conversation but i'm gonna wrap this up right by because i felt like i brought up enough just like again three more things i want to talk about and three more things you know going into why fnaf fans are delusional at this point it's like because at this point really is it is just my least favorite worst fandom honestly that could probably be that well i already made a like you know i've already made shoot what was my video right of why the fnaf or like you know or i already made a why i hate the fnaf fandom video right um I already made a why I hate the FNAF fandom video, so, where's it, let me find it, so, yeah, let me find it, right, so, let's see, uh, shoot, what, oh yeah, well, no, okay, a different, different one, why, oh yeah, why I hate the FNAF fandom, why, it, why it's the worst, so, again, right, <laughs> something to where it's like yeah i mean i don't know again it's like yeah at least in terms of that right so yeah it's like I, i've already made a video like like at this point it really is just like whatever like whatever comes because again there's just i've already made so many videos but it, it's the gift that keeps on giving right there's more stuff that i keep finding and that makes me think less and less of this fandom each fucking day right but i'm gonna end it here just saying again this fandom's fucking terrible dog shit right you know like legitimately i'm i'm legitimately somewhat glad semi glad that security breach flopped because it really did just expose the fandom for how terrible and dog shit it is but again i'm gonna end it here um i already talked about enough brought up the three things i want to and i also got stuff to do so i'm gonna end it here nothing else to say by the time this part is up the previous part or the second part for the previous video will be up so I guess I don't know when the next one will be. Probably in March. Again, you know, uh, when they release the patch, right? Again, like probably early to mid March is when it's uh, projected. It was originally projected for mid February, which it's also hilarious. I mentioned it previously how some people are salty that's taken a while. It's like, did you not learn from the fucking game? Like, I don't know. But that's, I already talked about that. Not going to bring it up in this video, and it's already 20 something minutes, and I got shit to do. So I'm going to end it here. So yeah, that's, I don't have anything else to say. Just gonna end it here. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.